Rich House Burt. And today we are going to talk about the pendulum swing between medicated and unmedicated birth. And the reason we're talking about this is because we got an interesting phone call yesterday about whether or not one of our clients should wait to sign a contract with a doula because she doesn't know if she should have a doula if she finds out she's going to have a scheduled C-section for some reason. And I explained to her that we would no sooner refund her money for a cesarean section than we would for a precipitous labor, which is a labor that goes very fast. And the reason is, is because birth is birth. Birth is birth. Whether the baby comes out the door or the window, birth is birth. Um, the support that a doula would provide for you, whether it's a surgical delivery or a vaginal delivery, is essentially the same. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in our culture, there's these movements that support only natural birthing and these movements that um, make women or people feel less then because they weren't able to deliver vaginally. Um, we really, really are trying to change that. Um, and as of recent, there's, either, there's even some people that believe that cesarean sections are the perfect birth and that every other kind of birth is unsafe. And what we are saying is that birth is somewhere in the middle for every single person. There's this whole expansive space between those two very small points um, that each one of us fall in. And what we need to see more of is the conversation about what goes on within those That's two right. points. That's right. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's so black or white and, and birth is not that. And I think that Never. that's where the shift needs to be made and, and the distinction that um, just because you have a surgical delivery, it's going to be a bad birth mm -hmm. or that it's not even really a birth. Or um, sadly that you're not deserving of support. Right. Which I feel like the mamas that go through and the people that go through a surgical delivery need more support and Absolutely. more space holding. Absolutely. And I mean, just the, even the physical component of support post delivery. I mean, we are in the recovery room with our clients. We are, you know, sometimes we will go into the home with them in lieu of support at the hospital, but I really do love being there and holding space for mm -hmm. the laboring person and their partner. If there is a partner, I, I just see that there's tremendous value in that because anxiety is usually higher, right? And we have to remember that there's more, the experience doesn't end once the baby's born. It begins anew. So you have maybe a cesarean birth or a vaginal delivery. Either way, the baby comes out and your doula is now there to kind of usher you into those new, new roles as parents that you have just been reborn as. So, you know, and that's no different for a surgical birth than it is for a vaginal birth. And I don't know about you, Sam, but I have attended some really beautiful surgical deliveries and some of them were planned surgical deliveries due to the client, you know, having some um, negative association with something coming out of her vagina, which we as as space holders have to respect people's reasoning for choosing something. It may not be medically indicated, but if it's best for their um, emotional well-being to choose something, who are we to judge that client? 100%. And who are we to say what birth has to look like in order for it to be... You know, I've had women come in here and be like, well, I didn't really give birth. I had a C-section. Like, what? And are you less deserving of the experience you had just because your baby's breech or you have, you know, diabetes or... <coughs> Bless you. No, um, you're not. You know, you're not. And, and we've been fortunate enough to have attended births that look like so many different things and in so many different settings. I feel like if I were to run down my favorite birth experiences as a doula, yes, I have favorite birth experiences. Sure. They look so different. Some are, you know, I have a plan C section that I think of and how wonderful that went. I have this magical home birth that I think of that went wonderful. I have this 
amazing story of an induction, the hospital induction, that was just the most powerful, amazing birth that I was you know, able to witness. It's, an induction spirited births for pussies. There you go. So there you go. How about that? Stay tuned for more on that.